Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius, the cross watcher, anybody that's here, really. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to do a full Celtic cross spread with the Light Sears Tarot for Aquarius. What do we have? Please and thank you for Aquarius. Temperance and the Three of Wands. You have been waiting for something, Aquarius. Waiting patiently. Keeping yourself busy, you know, doing constructive things while you're waiting. You're not just sitting here twiddling your thumb and flicking boogers. Let's see. What's the incoming energy, though, for Aquarius? In regards to this message here. What's incoming? The Ten of Swords. Foundation. It's about to be here. I feel like you are waiting for something, someone to pick you up, to take you somewhere. You're waiting for an invitation. You're trying to arrive somewhere and you're about to get the green light that you can start heading that way. It's almost like I'm waiting for them to tell me that they're on their way so that I can get my shoes on and be ready to go. And then all of a sudden, here they are and you get in the car and you're heading somewhere. You're on your way, Aquarius. You're on your way. What is in the foundation? Hangman, the Magician, and the Judgment, all Major Arcana. This is pure divine in your foundation. The divine is holding this up for you. The divine is making sure this happens. You had to release some things. Some of you, when you leave this place and you move on, you are not going back. Some of you are gathering all of your things. Some of you might be moving. It's either spiritually or physically, but you're moving here. You're moving. On to the next is what I'm hearing. Recent past for Aqua. Recent past for Aquarius. I'm hearing birthdays. That makes sense because we're literally cusping Pisces and Aries right now. So in the recent past was your birthday. If you're um, Aqua's son. Page of Swords. So you've received some kind of information that requires action you know you need to move you might not be sure how you're gonna get where it is you need to go but you're trusting that divine's gonna get you there some way somehow there's a lot of blind faith in this Aquarius I don't know how it's gonna look I don't know how it's gonna feel I don't know how it's gonna turn out but I'm trusting that it will somehow work out I think it does Crowning you is the Seven of Swords. Are you moving quietly? Are you not telling a bunch of people and maybe feeling a little bad about that? It's necessary, though. Or are you thinking about something that's trying to quietly sneak up behind you and stab you in the back? Is that the information? Is that why you're thinking about this? So you know that someone, something is about to stab you in the back and you're getting out of dodge. That way, by the time they show up, you're already off the premises. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Someone thinks they're being sneaky, but you are 10 steps ahead, right? Ten of swords. You are 10 steps ahead. That's why the divine is all up in this. So this is a form of protecting you by getting you to move out of... Out of, I don't even know. Out of the way. 
What's in the near future? The Hermit. Ooh, some deep soul searching. Someone, something wasn't what you thought. Ooh, High Priestess. But your intuition was already telling you that a day may come where we don't trust this person. So far, they seem legit, but like, I don't know, something's off. There may be a day that changes my mind. I think your intuition was telling you, hey, just so you know, get ready, because um, you can feel it, something. Something big is about to happen, or a shift is about to take place. Maybe someone else has been acting a little bit shifty around you, and you picked up on it. I don't think anybody else in the room is, is seeing what you're seeing. But you're seeing and believing. Justice and the lovers. Yeah, you are making a very ultimate decision here. This is like morals and values are making the ultimatum for you. If somebody's making you choose... You're already not going to choose them because of the position that they're actually actively putting you through to make you choose, to make you not. Nah. See, that's, that's some kind of weaponized bullshit. I don't like it. Yeah, you're moving. The divine is guiding you, leading you to move. Getting out of dodge. That's what it is. Getting out of dodge. Well, um, how is the divine viewing this? Oh, I wonder if the Six of Swords was supposed to be played right there. That's okay. How's the divine viewing Aquarius? And it landed on the hanged man and the magician. So there is a relationship that you are having to sacrifice. Because they just aren't matching you. Somebody is not... <sighs> Somebody needs to get their priorities organized. Because this is some fucking... This isn't making sense. Someone's really trying to stab you in the back here. It could be a company. It could be... Um, I'm actually getting something about a homing. A, a living situation. So, like, your community is getting ready to stab you in the back or your landlord or something like that. And the goal is to get you the fuck out of Dodge. Look at that. This is the fastest moving night. They move so fast that they miss some of the little details. But I don't think you necessarily need the details because you recently got the information. You already have the damn details. You don't need to pay attention to them anymore. You have the details. You're in the know. You're aware that someone is going to stab you and someone something is going to stab you in the back. And you're like, I'm done. I'm out. Toodaloo. Peace out, Girl Scout. Like, there's nothing the fuck out. Yeah. Singlehood. Claiming my independence from that because no. Morals and values. I will not do that. I will not let you do that to me. Right? This is interesting. And the potential outcome is the fucking wish fulfillment. Okay, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, there you go. Two of Swords, it all lies in this one decision. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay here and see if someone's really made of the ugly, or are you just going to move out of the way? Damn, I'm sorry to hear about that, you guys. Not exactly the type of reading I want to give, but this is truth be told, so I got to tell it how it is. You know, get out of the way. And then maybe tomorrow we can talk some of these blessings coming in because that's what I do want to talk about. I'm going to leave it right here. I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.